Hello everyone, welcome to this first 2019 tutorial in Air Studio. I know I haven't uploaded anything for a little while and I really apologize. Well, in today's video we're gonna talk about the my transition that we have on my site. So if you are considering to support my channel by picking up the my transition pack, the link will be down below the video and it will be appreciated. Before we start, I'm gonna show you the final result created with the my transition of Final Cut Pro, of course. Also, we have the same projects created in Premiere Pro, so make sure to check the video for all Adobe users. Quick note, I don't use Final Cut Pro at all, but do a couple comments and asking me how to use the math files. That's why I decided to do this tutorial and you will see how easy it is to use this and create an amazing project. So let me play the video and see the final result. Okay, so that's the final project created in Final Cut Pro, as I said at the beginning. So let me start, you know, using file, new, I'd like to create first the library so we can have everything inside the library. I'm going to go ahead and decide the folder I have in my movies. I'm going to call slider to and hit OK. As you see, we got this. I'm going to delete this, right click, delete folder, and I'm going to rename this, you know, image. And also I'm going to create couple more events I'm gonna call this footage maybe one more I'm gonna call and say sound one more I'm gonna call and say sequence just to have an order you know and then once we have this event so we can go ahead when you download you will have this couple folders you know this is the mole file and this is the mp4 which is h264 so make sure and i suggest to use this in final cut pro if you want this because this is transparent and this has black background let me go ahead and make sure the footage is selected go import and i'm going to go ahead and choose the folder which is this which i have in my movie folder and i'm going to go ahead and it will show this a little warning and don't worry i've been testing this and i don't see any problems so let me go ahead and click ok and you will see the preview as you see if you uh, hover over the mouse you will see the preview and also we can go ahead or you can also see the preview before purchasing you can download and i mean see the preview on my site of course as you see we got all the preview in here going back to Final Cut Pro, let me go ahead and make sure the image is selected. I'm going to go ahead like I used to do in Premiere. Make sure, you know, just drag and drop the image and you can use video, of course. And also the same thing, go with the sound, go ahead and movies. I got inside this folder, sound, and I'm going to, uh, you know, just drag and drop. If you want to download this, uh, of course, uh, soundtrack, you can go ahead. I leave the link down below in the description. The only thing you have to do is follow them and subscribe in their channel. And that's all you can use this and YouTube videos, of course. Let me go ahead and make sure this sequence folder is selected. Go file, new project. And here you can just choose the settings. As you see, let me go ahead and slide to it. I'm gonna go 1080p, which is 1920, 30 frames per second, which basically is 2997. So let me go ahead, as I say, you can do 4K, of course, this uh, files are for 4K too. And let me go ahead and click OK. And then what we can do is, once we have the timeline, go and select the footage. And for this, uh, you know, as I said, I got a lot of, a lot of animation here, but for this uh, project, I already know, so let me go ahead. The folder, of course, when you download the, let me show you one more time. So let me go ahead. When you download, you will see a lot of folders inside. So that's why we're gonna use the, uh, you know, make sure, you know, click this magnify and then hyphen 023. 
and click OK and you will see the animation here let me go ahead and start and you can choose anyone so let me go ahead and make sure so first we need to go ahead and have the image at the beginning let me uh, drag and drop this onto the timeline and then go to the footage and pick the animation or the matte transition in this case so let me go ahead and make sure maybe this one just drag and drop and I'm gonna go ahead and maybe right there and let me go to zoom in a little bit there so we can see better what we're doing here and we can pick the image which is this one maybe I like this image as I say you can use video as well so let me go ahead and make sure it's the same length and make sure once we have this we're gonna go again back to the footage and drag and drop this or you can just select this holding an option on the keyboard drag and drop and we'll duplicate it then we can select all these three layers right click new campo and make sure it's inside the sequence just to have an order you know everything so I'm gonna go ahead and call this holder one and click OK and make sure go inside by double click and make sure select the two on the top right click again and make sure rename this mask to you can rename whatever you want so let me go ahead and click OK and let me make sure the you know I forgot to mention something you know before we are doing them uh, you know a new camp and we should have put this inside the mask so the way to put inside the mask and Final Cut Pro is make sure the top layer is selected if we go to the right panel and make sure the video settings is selected as you see the blending mode so make sure we're gonna go tensile alpha and you will have this inside the mask of course and make sure go back to my holder of course and make sure select the top one pressing the home key on the keyboard just to have the cursor at the beginning with the right arrow key go one and two and make sure to pull this a little back so we will have this effect you know the white one first the edges of course and you will have the mask make sure select the the this uh, white mask and we're gonna play with the opacity I'm gonna go 20% but it's up to you you can leave 100% or you can change the color as well so have different effect if we go back to the main and you will have this and then we can go ahead and make sure just drag and drop on the top and we will have the image first or video if you want of course and then we will have the effect of course that's the way we can create this let me go a little more faster I guess so let me just choose any other uh, footage so let me just make sure maybe this one I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop the image of course as I say you can use video of course and the same thing as I said before hold it on option on the keyboard and drag and drop and you can duplicate and make sure the same length and make sure all of them make you know what before doing the pre-compose and for a couple of course let me go make sure select the top and make sure it's tensile alpha just to have inside the mask the image of course and then we can select all those three layers new compound clip and I'm gonna go ahead and say holder 2 of course make sure double click inside this select two on the tab you know and mask two and make sure as I said hit the home key on the keyboard with the right arrow key one two or you can go three of course and make sure you know just to have a little bit nice defect so let me go ahead and pull this a little bit more and you will have this of course you see elegant transition of course make sure this to have the opacity 20% I guess we uh, decide to have you know and make sure go to the main folder or main composition and you will have this so I'm not uh, picking any time in between the clips because I would like to have with the uh, sound you know track so just go by the effect so that's why I'm not choosing by if you want you can have four or five seconds each clip and let me go one more and show you and make sure footage and you know pick the uh, map transition in this case let me go with this one 
and go make sure this one pull damage I don't know for some reason my mouse is not okay so let me go ahead select this holding that option you know duplicate drag this the same length of course and make sure select the top one go blending mode tensile alpha and make sure select all three layers new compound and I'm gonna call um, you know holder 3 click OK double click inside you know make sure select one of those on the top you know mask 3 of course and you will have this as I said make sure the crosser at the beginning and you will have this so make sure you know with the right arrow key one two three maybe in this case and just pull this back a little bit so you will have this basically uh you know uh, we have a little problem in here because the image is too short so the way to go and fix this is make sure double click in the mask select the image and we can scale up a little bit just to close the the screen you know screen preview of course and that's the same thing I animate the image so make sure go at the beginning and select the image and go to scale and add a keyframe or if you want to you know animate the position so you can just add the keyframe on position and go to the end and maybe scale up a little bit before we I mean after we add the first keyframe so you will have the image animated so that's the way I animate this on the first uh, you know let me just uh, you know mute the audio and play and you will see the uh, image animated that's the way I animate the image and you know it's easy if you have a video of course you don't need to animate and let me go ahead and make sure go to the project and pull this back up and so we will have this so let me play actually let me play and you will have this and then the transition comes in and then the next clip of course with the transition effect and here might not be playing smooth because I need to render the video but I forgot to put this of course 20% opacity as you see I forgot so make sure don't forget if you want the same effect otherwise if you want you know 100% you can leave and also you can change the color of course this white matte transition and let me go ahead to the beginning and the last thing we can go ahead and select the audio and just drag and drop so we can play as you see let me just go ahead and play and we will have this basically you know as I said you can animate the image from left to right or from the top to bottom of course and as I said if it's a video you don't have to animate that's the way we create this in Final Cut Pro make sure to check my uh, YouTube channel of course because I'm working on some other uh, project you know make sure to check this and keep in tune because I'm working on more uh, Premiere Pro templates, motion graphics of course templates and most of them will be free and make sure to subscribe and also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter of course and make sure keep in tune for the next tutorial and see you next time